Gemini and welcome back to my channel Luna Moon Tarot. So Gemini, I have got to get through my my signs readings and you are next. Um, this reading is for the collective. It is not going to be for all of you, okay? So just take what does resonate and toss out what doesn't. Don't try to force anything into your world. All right? Uh, and I'm feeling like this is this is kind of your card too. Um yeah, Gemini. Um, so yeah, I'm giving you guys a sneak peek into your January, okay? Um, just to see what's kind of going on with you. All right. I'm seeing block communication. Thank you too, Gemini, for everything that you guys do. Did I already tell you that? Thank you for supporting the channel. All the likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Thank you so much. I just, I, you know, the cards start coming out and I've got to start reading, right? <laughs> right? It's a thing. It's a thing I have. Anyway, um, yeah, Gemini, I'm seeing maybe possibly block communication or somebody needs to make a decision here. Um, you could be dealing with the Virgo. I always see Virgo in this card because it's they're wearing the exact same outfit as... Um, the hermit and there's a v here i'm probably the only reader who does that or you could be dealing with the leo but it looks like somebody here is trying to get the strength maybe to make a decision and communicate um we've got someone here it was a third party situation clearly and there was no love in in those cups just blood and sand when all was said and done um it could have been, because there's blood here, this could have been a, a really harsh third party. Um, but they're in full regret over turning their back on this soulmate connection here. This Two of Cups, that's a true soulmate connection. And now this person is very, very ashamed that they turned their back on you. Um, hiding the fact, though. I feel like they're not really talking. They're kind of um, maybe isolating themselves a little bit. Trying to find the strength here to make a decision. Um, they need to take this blindfold off. This is something, a decision that this person hasn't been wanting to make. Okay? They have not wanted to make this decision. It's been very difficult. Um, they, this is procrastination kind of at its best, not wanting to take that blindfold off so they can see the truth, needing to communicate the truth, make a decision, cut something out. Anytime I see twos, I see choose. Um, yeah, there's a queen of cups out here. I feel like you are very, very loving to this person, um, or they could be thinking about a, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, I feel like this, you know, I'm feeling like this is your energy, though. It's your reading, so I'm going to go with that this is you. Um, this is the most loving queen in the deck, okay? she's Her MO is love. She stands for being loving, nurturing, kind um giving my son is in the background over there just like mocking me sorry guys but anyway um yeah this person turned their back on this beautiful love and now they're regretting it because this person stood for nothing but love okay um i also see that you have a cap on your love here Or they could be dealing with, somebody could be dealing with the Pisces. Or they're just very emotional. I feel like this person is really heavy in their emotions right now. Because they're needing to make a decision that they really weren't looking forward to doing. And it's taking all of the strength that they have. All right. Yeah, I feel like they're they are in their emotions. They procrastinate procrastinated on this long enough. They they're getting ready to speak their truth here. They're yeah, this is I feel like they're in this uh toxic situation here, bound and stuck. And if you notice, the person that they're with is benefiting it from something here. Okay. Um 
having this person chained and they've got a fire lit on their butt, right? They're, they're being tortured in a toxic relationship, I feel, chained. But see, this person has their hand out and this masculine is like, hey, can I get unstuck from this toxic relationship we've got because it's burning my butt and I need to get out? They're trying to find the strength to talk to this person, yeah, and cut them out. You could be dealing with an air sign. I feel like they're getting ready to communicate with whoever they're in this toxic situation with. They can't stop thinking about their Queen of Cups over here, the loving one, the one they turn their back on. Yeah, Gemini, this person, they're in a lot of regret for turning their back on your soulmate connection. Um, yeah, can't sleep at night over it because they're having to make a decision that's really, really freaking hard. I'm, I'm not kidding. It's really hard. Um, I feel like in a lot of ways they know whatever they're in is toxic. They know it. I feel like they may be afraid because whoever they're with is a karmic individual who's benefiting from being held in a, in a good position from the devil here, okay, with the devil. So this person could be even afraid of, I feel like this defensive energy off of this king of swords, like a protective defensive energy, like they're, they're worried something's going to go down. This has been a very difficult decision. Look, very difficult decision for this person. And they've been juggling this toxic individual here with this, uh, the, the remembering this Queen of Cups, right? The loving one. So it's like night and day difference wherever this person is. And they can't sleep at night. They're up all night thinking about this. This person could be crying at night, very emotional, looking at this ugly bedspread, right? That's the p ugly patterns of their behavior and the ugliness of the situation for them, too, right? This is a really hard decision for this person to make. Um, and I think a big part of it is because they're afraid to fight this devil energy you know they're afraid to yeah they, they've been providing here in the situation while thinking about you i feel needing to make a decision in love when it comes to love who are they going to invest in and i feel like this person has been providing for someone here in this toxicity yeah but it's time for change and now this person wants to come forward uh, to you here. I feel that whoever is out here in star energy, so take it however it resonates with you. You can reverse the roles if you have to, but it's time for a cycle to come to the to an end. Whoever is out here being a star, is the wheel of fortune is turning in their favor. Someone here is having a victory. It's that classic twin flame story. Okay? Hindsight is 2020 for this person. Clearly, hindsight right here, turning their back on a loving connection for a toxic one. Investing what, whatever they could. This is investing money, sure, but it's also investing love, time, effort, energy. They put everything into something toxic. Now I feel like they're ready to cut that out because I feel like whoever they turn their back on is out here being a star in the public eye, pouring healing energy back into the world, guiding a lot of people, okay? Getting a, the wheel of fortune turning in their favor and having a victory in the public eye, being cheered on and being watched by the universe. I mean, not, they, yeah, I, this could be your twin flame. And they're constantly watching you. Look, <laughs> if you look at this card, we've got someone here that's following a divine path, okay? Listening to spirit, right? Um, their life is, they're very knowledgeable and they're very, very abundant, okay? But this person, this masculine energy, 
uh, the Divine Masculine here, they're looking at nothing but this person, okay? The one that they want to go to. Um, this is also a Gemini card, okay? So this is you, Gemini. Everything in the background here is burning like to a crisp. And all they can do is focus on you. Look at how dark and sunken their eyes are. They're losing sleep at night. I'm telling you, they're up having nightmares. Things are being shown to them like crazy that they walked away from a loving soulmate connection to go to something toxic where now they feel kind of stuck, right? Out of fear. Out of fear and maybe responsibility also because they, um, they've they given so much to this toxicity, they may not even have anything left. They may be finding out that they could be losing all their money, but I feel like this is a very difficult decision for this person. And I, I think it's kind of fear-based too because they are dealing with the devil here. We've got the devil and the divine, and this person needing to choose and cut something out. So what is it going to be? Is it going to be a toxic life in a toxic relationship? Or is it going to um, whoever the star is out here? This is a wish also. This is wish fulfillment. This is a healer. This is someone empathic, intuitive. Okay? And I feel like this person wants to have a victory um, with whoever they walked away from, Gemini. They have this choice to make. Yeah, see, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about this. Having memories of the one they left behind. And you know what? You wouldn't have hurt this person either. You're out here wearing mittens. I feel like they offered you this couple love in the past and retracted as soon as they made that offer, pulled it back, and just kind of left you standing here innocently like, what the crap? Because you gave them, you are just all about loving this person. Loving, nurturing, being kind, being there. Right? And they're seeing this now. They're realizing it here knowing they have to make this difficult choice. They've got to communicate. They've got to cut something out. You know, they know they're not going to be able to stop thinking about you. Okay, yeah, wanting to approach and reach out. Okay, so this person may come and approach you. I don't, I don't see you moving. I see them approaching you very gently. I think that's one of the things that's keeping them up at night is coming forward to you. This person wants to talk. They want to communicate. They remember the love that you gave them. They know that, they, that you didn't deserve to be hurt here. You know, all you gave them was love, nurturing kindness. This could be a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got Leo out here. We've got um, Capricorn out here. We've got Aquarius and Scorpio. They want to reach out, but something's got to come to an end first. For, for one door to open, there's got to be a closing of another, okay? So something's got to come to an end. And I feel like this is a twin flame soulmate connection here. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Virgo. This person wants a brand new beginning. They want to do anything that they can to change this around. Clarify this Three of Cups for Gemini. Yeah, they want this new beginning. Yeah, they're hanging on. They don't know how to come forward. This person could have gossiped about you along with whoever that whatever devil energy they with they're with they could have joined into the gossip the bad mouthing okay now they don't know what to do they're scared this is somebody i've seen this little guy here <laughs> in like every reading and this is someone who's scared to they just don't know what to do they've got this 
this ace of pentacles here on the top of their brain, right? That's this. They want this new beginning. That's what they keep thinking about. But they're guarded. They're afraid to get hurt. They're afraid to come forward. They've been juggling here. They've been sitting on this on this uh, decision that they've had to make. That's that two of pentacles. That's this under their feet. That's the base of everything is this decision, okay? And this person's really guarded here. I feel like there's been gossip about you. I feel like they're scared that you may find out the things that they said about you. And really, all you were to this person, all you wanted to do is love them. That's it. Like, you know, yeah, could be dealing with an earth sign here. They've, yeah, temperance in reverse. They're losing an earth angel here. They're losing an earth angel here. The divine isn't helping this person either with this. They need to, everything needs to come out into the open. I feel like they, they kind of are losing their patience in this as well. The angel's like, you can't keep anything hidden here. You, um, you need to tell the truth. They're going to have to tell you everything that they said about you because I feel like they also engaged in gossiping and putting down this connection. And it's time now. The divine is calling judgment on this person for not doing right. It's time for these for any secrets to come out. They're watching you, studying you, maybe even trying to build up their pentacles. But they and here, and here, look, we have a match. They see you as their match. I feel like they're trying to figure out a way to come forward here. Yeah, they see you as their match. I'm telling you, they could be looking into you, watching you online, doing their due diligence, their homework here, a lot of studying to see if anyone new has come forward towards you, okay? Because they, I feel like they're not, they're really not using their intuition here. Um, they're not getting a lot of information, I feel. I feel like they're trying to dig up some info, though. This person could have a full-on commitment with someone toxic here, and they're looking into you to see if you've got something going on. They're looking possibly into your money situation here, wanting to come forward, seeing that you're solid, that you're stable. But this person definitely sees you as their match here. And this is this could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection, but they need to break free from whatever toxic situation that they're currently in because the divine is telling this person it's time to decide between the devil and the divine and the divine has no more patience for this person time is up it's time for the secrets for anything everything that was that was done or maybe said about this person you this queen of cups to come out they, I feel like there's there there can't be any more patience here, and this person is scared. But they do want to do something to change this around because they want this new beginning with you. They want this new beginning with you, the one who is loving here, the one they can't stop thinking about, the Empress in the Minor Arcana. Thank you. Huh. Thank you, Divine. Yeah, so you've been out here working on you, Gemini, you have been, you you flipped, right? I feel like this person may have underestimated you in the past. Maybe, you know, they saw you as someone who was waiting around, all, would always have an empty basket. Not anymore. You've transformed yourself here. You're every queen in the deck, very intuitive, high-vibing. You're independent. You've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in this deck is ten. You've got nine. Your person wants this new beginning. If they come towards you and give you this pentacle and make this offer, you will have that ten of pentacles. Something, you, something that's built to last. 
something you can build on. This is something that is generational here too, generational wealth. This is a long lasting commitment. They see you as the one for them. They see you as the empress. Yeah, I feel like this person, they're getting ready to make a decision here. They know something needs to come to an end. We've got death out here twice. And the divine is trying to tell them, well, what do you think needs to come to an end? A toxic situation where you're thinking about someone else the whole time? Or this connection that's a twin flame soulmate connection? Which one do you think needs to come to an end? Your person needs to make a decision here. And they need to do it. Like now, they're under judgment now, right now, right now. That's what I've got for you for January. I think this person is, you're going to hear from this person. I, I really think you will. It's just that right now, they're in the process of making a decision that's difficult and scary at the same time because they're dealing with the devil right now. They're trying to break free, okay? Okay. Anyway, Gemini, that's what I've got for you for a quick peek into January. <laughs> um, just keep focusing on you, okay? Because whatever it is you're building is becoming very abundant. Like, it's sweet, man. So just keep doing what you're doing. Stay in your lane. Let them work out whatever they have to work out in this toxic thing, okay? You're being divinely led. You just... You just keep doing what the divine is telling you to do, okay? Anyway, Gemini, know I love you guys. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, take care of you and peace out.